everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I have a series of pack and ship videos lined up to show you, and I thought it would be just easier if I just did a quick hello and let you know that as after this intro video, my video will change each time. I show you how to pack clothing, fragile items, hard goods, odd shaped items, all kinds of things. So with that said, let's get started. My next item to ship is this pretty apothecary jar. It's a milk glass apothecary. And the challenge is going to be, first of all, the height. If I were to pack it like this, you can see that it's quite tall. I think it's about uh, close to 12 inches tall. If I can find a way to put the lid inside, I can cut down the height by quite a bit. So I might have to do a few experiments with this, but I know one thing for sure. I want to make sure that I fill this void, this opening in the apothecary so that it is well protected should it get jostled in shipping, that it is you know, packed inside as well as protected outside. This is a very thick glass. I've got that going for me, but let's see what I come up with here to package this. I have several different things available. I have a couple of boxes and I'm going to be double boxing it. I have some large bubble wrap and some small. I'm going to fill this first with some just regular gift wrap tissue paper. I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to push this down in here, pack it in, Okay, I have two pieces in there, but I have to see if my lid is going to fit within that. Not quite, it's almost too much. So I'm going to instead take half of this tissue paper, just cut it in half, and just use half of it. The other half I'm going to wrap around the little knob or top of the apothecary lid. I'm just going to take a piece of tissue paper from the corner, run my hand through it, and I'm going to wrap this around here. Wrap it around. I'm protecting that little knob, which is a, you know, a fragile area. Put a little piece of tape just to hold it in place. Now, I also have to consider this rim and glass against glass. I don't want that to happen. So I came up with this idea of using, wherever I put it here, I have a um, styrofoam plate. I have a small six inch styrofoam plate. You can pick these up in a pack at the dollar store. And I'm going to use this as a cushion for my lid. So I need to cut a little hole. I've got a utility knife and I'm going to put an X through the center so that I have this little hole. I just made an X. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to be using that as a spacer. Let me see how well this fits here. I'm going to check the fit on the, on the uh, tissue paper. Just checking the fit. I'm really torn as to whether I have enough, but let me give this a try. So I'm going to put the plate on top of the apothecary bottom, the base, and I'm going to push this through. And obviously it made the X larger than what it originally was because I had to fit quite a bit through it. I'm just checking to see how the tissue paper lines up. It's not too bad. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to continue to wrap this. I want to protect the pedestal base. And for that, I have a little uh, swimming. You know, these are one of those swimming floats. And I'm pool floats, and I'm going to cut a little piece to fit around the pedestal of the apothecary jar. And if I measure that, I need about one and a half inches. So I'm going to cut a small piece, I about a one and a half inch, 
I'm going to just cut that with the utility knife. It's pretty easy to cut. Okay, you can see I have like a little donut here. I'm going to cut in to one corner here, one side. I'm just going to make a little cut. But I feel like that's going to be too tight. So I'm actually going to cut a little wedge, a little pie wedge out of the pool noodle. Those are called swimming pool noodles. I'm going to check that for fit. Pretty good. It covers three quarters of it. It's not covering all of it, so I'll make sure that I place this at the bottom when I put it in the box. I'll make sure I place it that way. Okay, what can we do next to protect this? I do like the idea of wrapping the entire thing in some tissue paper. And I'm going to start with the base. Wrapping it fairly snug. A little piece of tape on it. And you can see I have some loose pieces here. I'll put some tape on that. On that, okay. I know this lid is still volatile for falling off, so I want to give that some tape and I think to do that I'm going to just take my packing tape, just some you know shipping packing tape and I'm going to tape the lid to the side and I have it on the inside rim I'm going to do that on the opposite side I am folding down the styrofoam plate a little bit I think that's pretty good make sure that's secure making sure the tape is secure inside The bottom has a hollow area. I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper from the corner, run my hand through it, and make a long piece here that I can wrap around the base. Because this is glass, a little bit of tape doesn't hurt at all. Again, I've taken that partial piece of tissue paper, taking it from the corner, and I'm going to add that to the bottom of the plate, which is the top of the apothecary. I'm just going to tuck some in. It may not look pretty, but I'm protecting the finish on it but I still have to do a lot more to it. So the lid is on, it's not coming off. The bottom is protected. I've wrapped it with tissue paper. I have a styrofoam plate. And as you know, there was uh, tissue paper on the inside as well. The next thing I want to do is wrap this in some large bubble wrap. I have some large bubble, about 12 inches wide. Lay this down, and I'm just going to wrap this all the way. I think I have three three pieces of large bubble. Secure that with some packing tape. I would not use household tape on this part. Some packing tape. I'm going to fold the bottom down. And tape it on the top and tape that. Okay. Um, you know what? I neglected to put some tissue paper in that center part. I'm going to undo this tape. And I forgot to fill the lid, the void in the lid. So I'm going to put some more tissue paper in there. 
No two items ever seem to pack the same way. And this one, this apothecary, as I said, is a little more unique. There, I feel much better about that. I have some tissue paper inside the lid of the apothecary jar. Looks pretty good. I still want to do some more layers, but I'm hoping to double box this. I have a uh, small box here. This is only rated uh, 29 pounds for edge crush test, but I'm not planning it to be the final box, but an inner box. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. Let's see how this fits. I'm hoping it works perfect, but I still am going to put more packing paper in there. And then, and then, and then I plan to fit this into a priority mail shoe box. This is, I consider this a shoe box because of the shape of it. It's a um, like seven and a half by 14 by five. I can see that this lid doesn't want to go down all the way because of my bubble here. So I'm not going to force that. So I will be doing a light uh, taping on this. As I said, this is an inner box anyway, so I think I'll be okay. But let me check and see if this is going to fit. Before I get it all ready, is it going to fit? I believe it will. So let me just do a test run. I'm going to assemble the priority shoe box. Let's do a little test run here. Move the camera back down. I'd hate to go to all this work and then find out that it wasn't going to fit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That's putting some pressure on the top and I didn't want to do that. While it will fit, I am a little concerned. So let me take a look at this and see if there's anything I can do. It's a tight fit. I'm trying to get it back out. Okay, I have an option on this. I can adjust the priority shoe box. I can open this seam. Where's the seam here? I can open the seam and adjust it slightly. And that's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back. As you can see, I've opened the end of the priority box. I, I just ran my utility knife along and cut the tape. And now I'm going to find the seam, which here's the seam. And I'm going to, you're, you're going to be surprised how easy these are to open. I am just running my finger along there and I've opened the box. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to give myself a little bit of extension. And the only place I have to do that pretty much is on this seam. I only need about a half inch because otherwise it fits pretty tight. So. I'm going to score this seam and I've got a ruler here and I'm going to just eye about a half inch and I'm just using a regular pen, it's not open, and I am scoring this and making a new fold line. I'll show you here in a second. So I have this little fold that I've made and I'm going that what it's going to do is instead of folding here like it was and this was just part of the glued area, I'm folding it here where I scored it. I hope you can see that. So I'm just giving myself a little more room and I will have to tape this really well 
And for now, I'm going to just put some tape on it to hold it in place. So instead of having a fold here, I now have a fold here. Now you could say, well, that's a lot less inside that I'm using to, on my seam. But watch, I'll tape this. I'll tape it super good, super well, so that is definitely secure. In fact, well, no. I'm just going to let it be like it is for now until I fit this in here. I'm going to go ahead and tape my bottom back. see it's not secure secure yet there's just three pieces of tape on there but I will tape that better after I have the inner shipping box with the apothecary in there sorry about that get you back here okay let's go back to finishing packing the apothecary in the inner box I have some lightweight bubble wrap some small I don't feel that the small bubble wrap does a whole lot, but it does add another layer of protection for a finishing touch, but I'm also adding some paper. This is some heavy paper that is basically an unprinted newspaper print. I'm going to tuck that down on each side of the apothecary. And these smaller pieces will go on the ends. Whatever I can fit without putting too much pressure. Okay, this apothecary isn't really going anywhere in here. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. But I still would not trust shipping it in just this box. I have just a little bit of room here. Let's see how that packs down. I think we're good. I'm going to insert my packing slip. And on my packing slip, if there's if there are ever any condition issues, I add a note. You can add notes to your packing slip and I put in here about the condition of the apothecary just to remind the buyer of what I had listed for condition notes in the listing. Okay, you can see here it's pushing up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I am not going to press that down very tightly, but I do have to get some tape on here. Let's see how it's going to fit. Now, let's keep in mind this box is not as long as the the priority box. I have about Oh goodness, four or five inches here. So I'm going to go ahead, I know I need to do this, I'm going to go ahead and put some full sheet of packing material in the bottom of the box. Add my apothecary box, my inner box. I'm going to push it all the way down till it's tight. And you can see I still have space in here. I'm going to put more packing material. Okay, it looks like I've packed it as far as I can. I hope I charged enough for this. I did charge plenty, I believe, when I set the shipping. But either way, it has to go. So let me just do a little bit of taping here. Okay, let's work on this seam. I don't want this to burst open in shipping. So let me move the camera a little bit so you can see better. I'm going to tape the heck out of it, I guess, okay.
Try to get free packing supplies whenever you can. If you are in a store and you see bubble wrap or tissue paper or any kind of clean boxes without any lettering on them, of course they have to be outer shipping boxes, not inner. And by outer, I mean they have to be able to withstand an edge crush test. And that is a label that you see on the bottom. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. You know, I, I expanded it by about a half inch. That's what I needed. It's tight in the box. Just looking it over to see if there's anything else I want to add. Looking at all the ends and the corners and I think I'm good. All right, folks. Hey everybody, I've got this packed. I need to go weigh it, get the label on it and get it in the mail. If you like these kind of videos, I appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe and ring that little bell so you'll receive notifications on future videos. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue.